Hello all. Welcome to the Zoho Finance Masterclass. I'm Maruti Kumar and I'll be your speaker for this presentation. The Zoho Finance Masterclass is a series of webinars that will help you utilize all our Zoho Finance products to the maximum. Please note that this is not a typical product demo, rather a series of webinars that will talk about the different possible ways you can utilize each and every product under the Zoho Finance suit. The Zoho Finance suit is a comprehensive suit of financial applications that will help you run your entire back office. We have Zoho Books, Zoho Invoice, Zoho Expense, Zoho Inventory, Zoho Subscriptions, and Zoho Checkout as a part of the Zoho Finance suit. We'll be starting off this webinar series with Zoho Books. Zoho Books is our online accounting software that will help business like yours manage your entire business finances by automating the sales, purchases, automatically uh, tracking your inventory, fetching in bank statements, and finally providing you with a multitude of financial reports. So here's the core structure for this webinar series. We have a set of 13 topics that will talk about the different product functionalities of Zoho Books, right from setting up your Zoho Books account to getting paid faster with Zoho Books. In this webinar, I'll be talking about getting tax compliant with Zoho Books. You can view the previous webinars of this series by visiting our website www.zoho.com books. So here's the agenda for this webinar. In this webinar, I'll be talking about setting up your GST, creating GST compliant transactions, generating GST summary reports, and finally, filing your GST returns in Zoho Books. So without further delay, let's get started. Setting up GST. I'll take you through a tour inside our product. This is our dashboard of Zoho Books. Once you log in, rush to the uh, settings tab in the top right corner. Click on the taxes module. Once in, click on the GST settings. If you are a business registered for GST, you can check this box, enter your GST and registration number. If you are a business registered under the composition scheme, you can check this box and select a suitable tax rate for your business. If you would like to have a reverse charge for your sales transactions, you can check this box. And if you're a business uh, who does business for, uh, for overseas customers, you can select this uh, checkbox and select an appropriate account for tracking those uh, expenses. In this field here, you'll have to uh, give the date from which you've, uh, you've registered for GST. You can give your GST, uh, GST and username an appropriate reporting period, monthly or quarterly, and uh, month from which you've uh, started filing your GST returns, and click on save. Once done, rest to the uh, tax rates uh, module. This will have uh, this will have a default of all the uh, tax rates as per the GST law. If you'd like to create uh, new taxes, you can do that by clicking on this plus new button. Give an appropriate tax rate. Select a tax type and save it. You can also create a new tax group by giving it a, uh, an appropriate tax uh, group name, selecting all the uh, taxes that you would like to have under that particular tax group and click on save. The tax exemption uh, module will help you uh, give tax exemption reasons for your customer or an item. Enter an appropriate tax reason, exemption reason. Select if it's for a customer or an item and save it. 
under the default tax preferences column you can give uh, the particular tax rate in which you sell most of your products uh, with for example let's say i sell 20 different products and most of them fall under the 3% uh, category in this particular uh, module i'll select the intrastate tax rate uh, as 3 percentage and interstate as igst 3 percentage so that all when I, when i create all the transactions if there are no tax rates associated with for that particular item this particular tax rate will automatically be pre-populated there i'll show you in further uh, slides through the webinar so once you've set up your gst uh, you can go uh, associate uh, the gstn numbers and other uh, gst parameters for your customers and vendors for that you can click on the contacts module from the uh, left pane this will show you the list of contacts that you're dealing with for your business click on a new contact select if it's a customer or a vendor give an appropriate name and under other details column select a particular gst treatment for your uh, customer if he's a registered business under the regular scheme or the composition scheme if he's an unregistered business or a consumer if if you are if he's an overseas customer or if he's from the special economic zone select any of these and give your customers gst in number here and the place of supply will automatically be populated based on your gst in number select the tax preference and save this customer once saved you can view uh, the details of this particular customer here his gst treatment will be visible under the contact section now you can uh, associate the uh, hsn and sec codes for your items to do that click on the items module from the left pane click on the uh, new button Select if it's a goods or a service. The units. The SKU. So uh, under the HSN code column, you can select the HSN code for that particular, uh, enter the HSN code for that particular item, and you can also search for it using this search option here and you can say, uh, give them an uh, appropriate sales information and a purchase inf information give a default tax rate for this item please note that the tax rate that you give here will be uh, automatically fetched in all the transactions that you create for this particular item. So once done, you can save this uh, item. So this is pretty much what setting up GST in Zoho Books is. Let's move on to creating GST compliant transactions. To create an invoice in, GS, uh, in Zoho Books, you can go to sales, click on the invoices, this will show you the list of pre-created uh, pre invoices inside Zoho Books. You can create a new one by cl clicking on this plus new button, entering an appropriate uh, customer name. All the uh, uh, details regarding that particular customer will automatically be populated here, that he is a registered business under the regular scheme, that his place of supply is uh, Odisha, and Click on save as draft. Once you've created an invoice, all the details uh, in that particular invoice created uh, will be uh, as prescribed by the GST government.
so it has the GSCN number of uh, yours and your customers the place of supply and all the item details and the tag split up so you can also create uh, retail invoices for your businesses by clicking on this arrow button next to new and create retail, in retail invoice so uh, you don't have to the all the complications uh, that you would like that you would be facing generally in creating an invoice will be eliminated and you will just have to uh, enter a customer name a phone number if needed and the items that you're uh, gonna sell and click on save and the uh, invoice will automatically be generated now Here's the invoice I just created. You can also create estimates, retainer invoices, sales orders, delivery chalans, uh, and credit notes for your uh, and recurring invoices for your business. <clears throat> the process of creating all these transactions is the same as creating an invoice. Please note that all the transactions that you create in GST in in Zoho books are completely GST compliant. Next up is generating GST summary reports. Once you've created all the transactions inside Zoho books, you can go to the reports module in the left pane and go to the taxes header and click on the GSTR 3B summary. Select a suitable month and your GSCR 3B summary will automatically be populated here. All the reports in Zoho books uh, are real time so that as and when you create transactions, all the necessary number will be reflected in the, GS, uh, in the report section. So this here is the GSCR 3B summary of 1st July 2017 to 31st July 2017. You can also view the uh, summary of outward supplies which is your GSTR1 for a particular month. Similarly, GSTR2 which is the summary of inwards uh, supplies for a particular month. And so on. So we also have a 50 plus other reports for you to analyze your business uh, in different metrics. The last part of this webinar is filing your GST returns. Filing your GST returns involves three steps. Uploading your transactions to the GSTN, verifying and submitting your transactions, and finally filing your returns. Before you file your returns in Zoho Books, you'll have to first enable API access from your GSTN portal. <clears throat> Only on doing so, will you be able to file your returns from the uh, from within Zoho Books. To do that, log into your GSTN portal, click on My Profile from the top right, select Manage API Access under Quick Links, select Yes for Enable API Request, and select an appropriate duration. Finally, confirm it. Once you do this, all the transactions that you've created in Zoho Books can be pushed and filed from within Zoho Books itself. Click on the GST filing module, select a suitable reporting period, and all the uh, particular returns for that particular uh, month will automatically be populated. GSTR1 reports uh, report, for example, uh, consists of all the sales transactions for that particular reporting period. The overview tab will give you the list of transactions based on the type of customers you've dealt with. On clicking that, the view transactions report will give you the detailed uh, details of all the uh, invoices that you've uploaded, that you have for this particular time, uh, reporting period with the details of the GSTN and the uh, tax split up for that particular transactions. You can also view the credit notes, advance payments, refund vouchers and debit notes for that particular reporting period. You can also select the filter for the type of trans, uh, invoice transactions that will show you the list of all the transactions that you have for that particular uh, reporting period under GSTR1 and you can also uh, filter it based on the upload status. Once uh, under the push to GSTN module you have the list of uh, transaction summary, HSN summary, NIL summary, 
B2CS summary and the documents issued tab you can edit it and uh, give the uh, invoice from and to and the total number of invoices the payment voucher and other uh, transaction details and save it once done you can uh, the exception list here will give you the uh, list of uh, transactions that will be exempted from this particular return this may include the transactions that are not out of uh, scope of gst and non gst uh, supplies once you uh, once you have the all the transaction for that particular reporting period ready you can push uh, these transaction to the gstn all the uh, details for that particular gst uh, your organization will be fetched give them an aggregate turnover uh, and push it to the gstn click on this generate otp you will receive an otp from your registered mobile number and also your registered email address enter the otp here and verify uh, verify the process once done you will get a verification email in your uh, in, inside your mail from zoho books that and also a notification inside your zoho books account the final step is to file your return you can first uh, take a look at the final return before you file it if there are any discrepancies from the gst that will also be faced in this report once done you can you'll have to submit your return to do that rush to your gstn portal click on return dashboard under dashboard select the financial year and the particular reporting period select the gstr1 all the data uh, from gst uh, from your zoho books will automatically be populated inside your gstn portal click on preview here that will download a pdf you can check this uh, final return before you submit it to the gstn portal check this box and you can submit your gst in gstr1 report please uh, note that once you submit you not you will not be able to edit all the transactions uh, from the G for that particular reporting period again once you've submitted you can check this box and uh, file your return with, uh, using dsc or evc once you, once your filing process is complete you can uh, come back to zoho books click on the more option here and mark your file as uh, ret uh, mark your uh, return as filed this is how you file your gst uh, r1 in zoho books filing gst r2 and gst r3 b is something similar if you have any queries while uh, filing your returns you can always reach out to us so here's a quick recap of what we saw today I talked about setting up GST, creating GST compliant transactions, generating GST summary reports, and finally filing your returns in Zoho Books. If you have any questions regarding this webinar or about the product, you can reach out to us through our toll free number 1800-123-7711 or our email address support.india at zohobooks.com. You can also take a look at our comprehensive help documentation and our frequency frequently asked questions thank you so much for attending this webinar